That sounds like a good time to me. College bowl season starts tomorrow, and we're ex getting excited, of course, for one of the biggest games right here in North Texas, the 87th annual Cotton Bowl Classic on January 2nd. But it's about so much more than just the on-field action, what you're seeing on your screen. And joining me this morning is Dave Brown, chair of the Cotton Bowl Classic. Good morning. Now, look, I, I messed around and touched this thing without my glove on, so if you wonder why I got the glove on, Okay, now I can touch. You got some hardware here. What, what are we looking at for folks who don't know? Well, this is the Field Scoville Trophy, which is given to the winner of the Cotton Bowl each year. Um, and it's a symbol of, of, of our championship. Okay, you have a nice ring. What, what do we have here? Well, this is uh, the chairman's ring. This, oh. this has also got the Cotton Bowl uh, <laughs> emblem on it and uh, just a little bling that comes with the gig. I love it. We all love bling around here, right? Hey, let's start with the teams competing for the trophy. This is the second year in a row. The Heisman Trophy winner will play in the Cotton Bowl Classic. How exciting is it to have the best player in college football coming to at t Stadium? Well, it's very exciting. Uh, we kind of have a knack for having the Heisman Trophy winner the Cotton Bowl. Bryce Young last year and many, many before him. Uh, so having the best player uh, in college football uh, is really an honor. What are some of the ways that fans here, even without tickets to the game, which of course we encourage that, but they can be a part of the activities, the festivities leading up to kickoff? Well, uh, there's a lot of events that go on in the community around the Cotton Bowl. The mm -hmm. most notable is the, uh, uh, the Fan Fest, the mm -hmm. Goodyear Fan Fest that we host at AT&T Stadium on January 2nd for the public. Uh, we invite everybody to come down. Uh, there's a lot of fun interactive uh, events that are going on. We have a battle of the bands between mm -hmm. the two school bands at 4, 4 p.m. that day. Uh, a lot of food and, and just a lot of, lot of festivities that honor uh, the, the Cotton Bowl. The next day on the 2nd, we also have a similar event that's open uh, for our, our, our fans that have tickets to the game. Okay, very nice family friendly event. Come on out. Uh, this game, this event, obviously an economic driver. What kind of impact is anticipated from this year's game for local hotels and restaurants? Well, it's a big economic driver. Uh, a lot of folks come to town. Um, they, they fly in from, they'll be coming in from the West Coast from obviously from all parts of the country to support their teams. Um, they fill our hotel rooms, uh, they eat at restaurants, they shop at our, our, at our shopping establishments. And these are, these are folks that ordinarily wouldn't be coming to Dallas sure. that time of year. It's a slow time of year for tourism in our city. So it's a real boon to, the, to our local economy that we estimate uh, uh, reaches about $100 million Ooh. a year in impact. All yes. right. And we're talking about economic impact. There's obviously so much more to the Cotton Bowl Classic. You guys are well known for this, um, the work that you do in the community. How do you summarize the philanthropic effort and impacts of the event? Well, we do much more than just host a game. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we benefit the community in, in many, many ways. Uh, most notably is through our foundation. Since uh, 2016, when we established the foundation, we've, we've uh, generated over $2 million that have gone to the community uh, to different programs, primarily benefiting the youth in our community, enhancing ed education opportunities uh, through after school programs, through uh, teacher training, mm -hmm. through a, a myriad of different ways that uh, help uh, support our youth. And how meaningful um, is it for you, for everyone who's helping, because we know there are a lot of amazing folks working behind the scenes. We have a couple of them here uh, helping us out. How meaningful is it for you guys, for student athletes, um, you know, for anyone that's involved to make this a memorable experience? We wouldn't be here without the student athlete. Mm -hmm. And so we have to honor them and, and reward them for making our game what it is. So, you know, it's all about uh, the, 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 the hospitality. We can provide them the experience. We shower them. With, with gifts and, and, and things that are allowable within the rules we work sure. with, work, work under with, with uh, the NCAA. Um, and then we, we do things for their family, their friends. We, we want them to talk about the Cotton Bowl as if that was a one of a kind experience. Mm -hmm. They appreciated us being there. They took really great care of us. And that just has, has been our, our, our tradition and, and what we've built uh, our legacy on over the years. Okay, I said I probably never get to touch this thing again, so I'm going to touch it one more time, and it's amazing, and it feels like it's really, really heavy, okay? Dave, thank you so much for being here. I know a lot of folks are looking forward to this event. Cotton Bowl Classic, by the way, you guys, is happening Monday, January 2nd, featuring number 10 USC versus number 10 Tulane. You can find more info at cottonbowl.com.